Hi, Jen and Casey here. <laughs> Welcome to Fusion Fitness Online. Here's another video and today we're looking at release work. And as you guys have probably already figured out, <laughs> Casey and I, we're all about release work. <laughs> it's just the primary thing that people need before they start building on strength. So, you know, you've seen the overball, you've probably seen this guy before, our tennis balls of different sizes that we have in the studio. But this is, this is another one of our favorites. And again, we have these for clients to, to purchase because it's so important for them to take this guy home mm -hmm. and do these different exercises that we're showing them. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's not that they're just coming in once a week or once every two weeks and doing these things with us in the studio, that's not gonna help. They have to be doing a few minutes a day consistently to really see a change in the body. So here we're gonna be releasing the glutes. Um, Casey's gonna place this guy right at the center of her glute, right in the meat of the glute, not on the bone. Good. Now from here, it might not feel so tender at first. When we start to move the leg bone, on the heavy glute, heavy spiky ball, then you, want to, you definitely want to pick up some sensation in the area. And if you're not really, then you can try to move the ball a little bit. Now, trying to stay as stable on the back of the shoulders as she can, getting really heavy into this side of the pelvis and spiky ball, she's gonna gently start to rotate the leg and she's gonna use her breath to cue the heaviness of the tissue and the heaviness of the femur head. Now, the big challenge is to keep this softness and this heaviness as she rotates it back up. So she's imagining that the femur head is sinking deeper and deeper into the back of the hip socket. Sitting bone is widening. Good. And you can see that little shake, shake at the top, right? So we don't want her to pull away from that spiky ball at any point. She's thinking about, again, cascading that tissue over the spiky ball, no gripping, and then gently coming up, imagining that the inner thigh is draping down to the floor, sitting bone is widening, femur head is widening out to the side. Very nice. Now, there's some other fun choreography you can do with this. We're gonna take the slidey towel and put it under the foot. And from here, she's gonna do some leg slides. Now, again, we want the body to be very, very heavy. Back of the shoulders, back of the hips. And then on her inhale, she's gonna slide this leg out into the distance, trying to stay as heavy into that spiky ball as she can, feeling the inner thigh glide up into the pelvic floor. Good, and then on the exhale, she can externally rotate the leg. Yeah, <laughs> and again, she's checking in and she's moving slowly and using her breath to really guide the movement. Good, heavy, heavy, exploring that external rotation through a long to a bent leg. And then from here, staying very, very heavy as she comes back up. Good, and of course we can uh, reverse that direction. So staying heavy as she rotates out. Good, and with this externally rotated leg, reaching out into the distance, finding the contrast and the opposition of the leg, drawing up through the center of the body, finding that easy spin at the top of the femur head, and then on the exhale, gently bringing the leg in, softening in the front of the hip. Again, thinking about femur head, sitting bone widening out to the side of the room as she comes back in. Great. Okay, take that out. <laughs> yes, and it's really nice for the clients to pay attention to how that side of the glute and pelvis feel after they come off of this. Totally different. Yes. Totally different. It's really, really a nice sensation, and it's a, it's a nice moment to build awareness and the skill of paying attention in your clients. All right, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.